the legacy of the First World War on modern-day Canada have been immense. For the first time, our nation was thrust onto the international stage, and even today, many Canadians consider the Great War as the moment that Canada as a nation was born. However, that came at a huge cost. Nearly 61,000 Canadians made the ultimate sacrifice, with many more wounded, to lay the groundwork for the rights and freedoms we enjoy today. Today, only the memories and stories of those soldiers remain after the passing of our last Canadian First World War veteran in 2010. Thus, I believe it is important to learn about Canada's history in the Great War so that we can remember and honour the courage, sacrifice and contributions of all those who have served and to ensure that we pass on their accounts to future generations. Through this opportunity, I hope to learn more about the stories of those who fought for peace and freedom and gain a deeper appreciation of the sacrifices they have made for our nation. I also hope to learn more about the war from the perspective of minority groups such as First Nations, Black Canadians, Chinese, and Japanese Canadians. I believe that their stories are still not well known and have only just begun to be told to Canadians. Upon my return, I hope to contribute by being an ambassador and acting as a voice for the program. In this way, I aim to bring my research and what I have learned, as well as the stories of those soldiers, back to my communities. They have thrown us the torch, as John McRae wrote in, in Flanders Field, and as such, I believe that it is more important than ever that we hold that torch high and play our part to spread the spirit of remembrance and, as good citizens, guide our country towards a path of peace, freedom, prosperity, and harmony, just like those who came before us, lest we forget.